Hey guys, my name is Dopezo. In this video, I'm going to give you a guide to the new Devour in map that recently been announced in the official Devour Discord group. The video comes with my very own guide map that will be shown shortly in this video. Another thing is the video guide map of the new Devour map which is the third installation of the game will still be relevant to official release. Any changes are only toward bugs but not the map itself. Before we jump into the guide, I would like to say thank you to developers of Devour for giving access to the private beta before the public beta today. Another thing I would like to mention, if you're new to my channel or come here watching a certain game you search, please consider clicking the subscribe and notification button. Also, follow me on Twitch to watch my stream daily. By doing this, you are supporting my work to continue making gaming contents for my channel and help me get through this pandemic. I'm currently a graduated student and currently unemployed. It'd be a big thanks if you show some support. Alright, that's all I have to say and let's slide into the new Devour in map. You will spawn at the entrance which is right there. All you have to do is jump into this small open window. In order to start the game and access the rest of the lock rooms, you need to confront Zara. There are three ways you can reach Zara. It's through the left and right sides of the buildings all being pointed out on the map. But I'm gonna take the shortest way which is through the indoor bathroom and it leads you to the backyard. Once you arrive at the backyard, there's a tori with a smash wooden fences which leads you to a secret cave when you can confront Zara. Do not be afraid to enter the cave. There will be a scene triggered when players are in close range of Zara. When the scene is over, let's hop back to the reception room where you begin. On the left side of the map, there will be a dining room, laundry and unlockable doors which lead you to the indoor garden and an ocean. On the right of the map, there are many rooms to look into. Here is the indoor garden which leads you to the reading room and a backyard of the inn. Here is the recreation room, there's a pool table and a ping pong table in this room. Next to it will be a small kitchen. Here are the rooms on the first floor map. There's the first room located close by and next door will be room 2. Close by is the stairway leads you to the second floor and the side door to the outside. If you look back at the left upper side of the map, there's the indoor bathroom. Outside will be the indoor garden and the onsen. The onsen is basically a hot spring but this is where you cleanse the corrupted spider eggs with bleach. There are two stairway lead to the second floor behind the reception and the other next to the recreation room. Here is where you find the toilet. It is a medieval style Japanese toilet if you're wondering why we shit on the floor and not sitting on it. And yes, they still use candle despite this is the 20th century. Outside, you find the rest of the remaining rooms on the second floor. Then room 5. Here is room 6. And following with room 7 and 8.
opposite side of the second floor. Here is room 3 and next to it, it is room 4. Lastly, here is the storage room. With the new update, there is tons of cool features to try out. For example, there is a ranking system that has been added. With it, players are now able to use perks which give you bonuses and different abilities for each player. Lastly, the developers added is the Arachnophobia mode. It's a mode that changed the spiders and Zara fob into a non-scary AI which look a lot like Pico Rick. Well, that is it for the guide video. If you wish to use my map, you can find me in the Devour Discord channel and my maps in the fan art channel which I leave in the description below. I hope you all enjoy watching this video and be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitch. Peace! Oh, fucking hell!